So I wrote the play about three years ago now. It doesn't feel like three years ago, but it was three years ago. Um, when I was, it was before my junior year of college. Um, and it, I started to write the play because I read this little blurb in uh, The Rolling Stone about, um, that just said at the bottom of it, the death toll from suicides because of inadequate mental health care may exceed the combat death toll in Iraq. And that just lit me on, I mean, it lit me on fire. I, it, it struck me like a piece of lightning and um, changed my life and set me on the trajectory to write the play. So I, so I wrote and wrote and wrote and all I could do, I wasn't really a playwright before that, but all I could do was, was write. I wrote it for my thesis project. So we had a thesis production. It was just me and a group of colleagues who were formed around the idea of wanting to tell the story. And, um, and it was really a powerful experience for me. I, I, I'm, I'm used to being an actor, uh, that's my training, but I decided to take the role of the playwright. And, um, and so I really worked with this group of, of, of colleagues to produce it ourselves. That was the challenge as your thesis, to produce it yourself, to get everything done yourself, to get the actors in the program. And we did it, and we got help from the ROTC and from some Marines, and we started to get this really wonderful community. It was a real, real grassroots community effort. And we did the production, and, and it was uh, astounding. It was, I, 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 mean, I couldn't have been more proud of everyone working on it. It was really incredible. And the school, the administration of the school, saw it and saw the energy and saw the kind of passion that was behind the story and decided to pick it up for another production as a part of this new play initiative and as a as a entrant into the KCACTF which is the um, Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival and as um, their Insight which is this arts festival this Insight Arts Festival in New York as as a entrant into the KCACTF pool it it won the Quest for Peace award um, the David Mark Cohn Award, which is why I'm here, and the uh, National Student Playwriting Award. But when it came down to it, I'm, I'm, I was never there, and I knew that, and that was at first hampering me, and they gave me really good advice, which is that like, you, you have something to offer that is wholly unique and wonderful, which is your own life experience. Put yourself, the sensitive, emotive, kind of like, geeky, nerdy guy, put it in the script. That's what you have. Put that in the script. Don't shy away from that. That is what you can tell. And I, and I don't know if I can understand or truly come to terms with um, the combat experience in terms of, I think I did a pretty good job of capturing it, but I, I don't know what it was like because I wasn't there. But I do know what it's like to be lonely. And I do know what it's like to love someone and miss them. And I do know what it's like to be hurt. And that's what the play is about. It's not so much a war play. It's a person play. And I can write that. But the thing about the play is I don't consider it, I don't consider it political in any way. I, I really, really hope it, in, the, in the way that I've captured it that it's not an indictment and it's not a support of anything. It's about people making decisions um, and people trying to do the best they can. And the instant you think one thing about the war or another, I try to invert your feelings about it. I, I did it purposely. Uh, and, and so as soon as you think that these are kids and they're innocent, these Marines and, these, and this journalist are, are kids and they're innocent, and I feel like, you know, perhaps the war was justified, I switch it. And the instant you think, who, who are these murderous, barbarous men, I invert it. And I, I want to do that because I think that we can't ever come to... A, a, a pat conclusion because again like we're not we're not there we're not there and it's a hard answer they say in playwriting classes write write from what you know but i don't think that's necessarily true i think you write from what you feel and write from where your your passion lies i think every person is a storyteller and has and has something in them like we just talked about like you had you you said like I have this one story that like it's in me and I want to write it and it's like I'm passionate about it for whatever reason that's the play you write um, you don't need to write I don't think from like like what you know you can that's awesome like if you write a, if you're you know a twenty something and you want to write a book about twenty something is awesome you're like the best play ever about that but but as long as you have that like I need to have these people speak these words for this reason. Follow that, you know? 
And, and when you can get to the point where you're sitting with your computer and you're writing and you look down and it's three and then you look up and you look down again and it's six, that's the play that you should be writing.